Within this session, we're going to take a look at how to add custom icons into a web focus tabular report. So actually, here's my little sample. So let's run that report. You're going to see I'm running a report with sample data, plus I'm using a little trend icon that is inserted as part of the report. Actually, that's done relatively easy. The only thing you need to is set up a CSS URL linking to the font awesome that comes bundled with web focus so that's a library of font symbols that can be used in reports and in addition i created a little compute in here called arrow that is dependent on the value of my field sales I'm not gonna do any updates now thank you windows so if my value for sales is greater than eighty thousand, i'm going to use this icon if it's less or equal to 20,000 i'm going to use the circle down icon in any other case i'm going to use the circle right those are just plain font symbols to get the coloring i'm going to use the standard web focus dev macro so that allows me to do conditional styling so depending on the condition i'm going to define the color to be red if it's lighter than 20,000 lighter equal actually or if it's greater than 80,000, I'm going to set it to green and a certain size. In any other case, it's going to be orange. So that's what I do in here. So very simple step. So you're not limited to the trend errors, of course. If you want to look at Font Awesome, this is library is available on the internet. So I'm currently you're using the version five. You can use any of those free icons that are part of that element. So instead of the arrow that we used, you could also use those kind of angry or happy faces I'm gonna go for. Let's go, actually, let's go for angry. So for whatever is bad, we're gonna take angry. So I'm gonna look at that element. There's a certain elements. I'm gonna use the default. So the only thing I need to get is that little syntax here. So copy that one, go back to the editor. And for instead of the circle down, which is the negative, we're gonna use the circle we're going to use our little angry face and so replace that one edit so i'm going to get my angry face and now we're going to get a little angry face in god instead of the arrow in here let's go back over here of course you could search so we got angry so let's go for happy let's see if you're going to have a happy face so there's a bunch of happy faces i'm going to go for the smile so there's the syntax again. I can go in here, get my smiley face, and put the smiley face in here. So we're going to go for smile. And the only thing we need is the neutral. So let's see what else we have. Let's go for faces again. We've got more faces in here. So which one are we going to use? So let's actually go for, I don't want to, a kissing face, whatever. Actually, I'm going to go for the blank face without the mouth in here. So using that one, copy it to clipboard, go over here and replace my little face icon as well. sure to get it clean so we got our trend in here so change it to face or let's change it to mood of course we can change sizes in here so i'm going to go for 16 size i'm going to go for 16 and instead of the orange face we're going to take a black one well, let's go for silver so that one and we got our new little trend icons in here easy and forward i'm going to use one more session later on where i'm going to show you how to do, achieve the same thing not doing any coding actually hope you enjoyed it